great. I think we just jump the gun and start it now. <laughs> quick all right welcome everybody to day two of shenanigans um here today with just a uh quick discussion chat stream before um before we hop on with malatak and spud to do some uh either demon x machina or Mech Warrior Five. I, I'm I'm honestly actually not sure because no one's answering questions, my questions. Um. So in the meantime, I think uh, I would like to go on my crusade again to, um, kind of go over some more Force of Will stuff. Um. Yesterday we had a stream, did a, uh, kind of a go over some cards. Um. Kind of have a checklist going on through, um. Which kind of had a pop up for a moment there. Um, I'm actually gonna re pop it back up and just to quickly kind of go through it again. Um, so this Force of Will card game. Check out my previous stream if you want a little bit more of what's going on with it versus or what had been going on with it versus what it is now. Um, so just just kind of a quick recap so we can get right into it because I don't know how long this is going to take, but we have gone through and received a playset of quite a bit of cards. That is this second cell. However, there is a lot of cards that we have yet to receive. Um, if it is a filled in black cell um, of one, we've at least have uh, one copy already. And we pretty much got one of every every card from this specific set. And if we hide that, bring this back up and go to this setting, we actually I have reset out kind of where everything is. Um talking to some of the Discord and Reddit uh, people that uh, a couple of them did hop on last stream. Um, turns out I got pretty lucky with the last bit of uh, last bit of stuff that we did um, because I got four Marvel rares. That's um, these first four cards, and I. Didn't even realize it because I wasn't paying attention to the rarity symbols. Um, but they them you know you you only get like three or four of them. Um, and I got lucky to the fact that uh, the three or four that I did get uh, last time were non repeats. So um, if we kind of just look around i think we are really only missing one or two we're missing a the water marvel rare uh is that an r Gar garm held um uh, we're missing yeah we're only missing one uh one more marvel rare a couple super rares and then uh, Kaguya the ruler and then obviously uh, play sets of super rares missing some rares missing some super rares um, there's a couple cards that were also just want full play sets of um, this uh, Galileo polymath um, is definitely a very very good card for green so hopefully we can get a full place out of him so last time um i kind of showed a bit of the uh the, the the lands and some of the uh tokens but i'm just going to forego that um 
and we're just going to quickly go through um, side swipe through most of the normal or commons because we should have everything I'm actually going to quickly there we go that's a little better Um, I don't have my lights going right now just because it's just we're getting enough sun through uh, the massive window that I have to set up in front of so it's kind of its own its own little thing. All right, so have him we have him we have him him. Um, oops. Before I go any further this this card has giants it's a giant card a card that deals with giants. It reminds me of attack on titan i believe i mentioned that before but i don't know and another gust so really the last two cards are going to be the most important so brunhild sign of faith or sign of faith we have somewheres right down here and then praying valkyrie we have already i need to figure out where i put my ah there we go off to the side if we get full shiny play sets that's perfectly fine with me unfortunately doing it this way also means that i may spoil the shiny card uh because they rulers will take part uh take place of your shiny um and since they are shiny they are also going to be you know take place on it uh thank you leon tv nine for following i actually forgot to add my alert um See, uh, alert source into this so i will have to refigure out how to do that but thank you for the follow it's nice to see that all right so most of this we already have uh this means war i have been told from the force of will community and reddit that this is actually a very decent rare um Especially since if it's um, how we talked about it last time is that la if it is your first card, you can play it for free. And it's just a, a nice, easy poke right away if it's your first spell for the game. Oh, and then I do have, I know I did get it yesterday. Oh, there we go. All the way over here. We do, unfortunately, spell out. Uh, out. I am trying to find better options of camera placement so that we can be higher up and we can see a full thing. Um, next card is Order of Chaos, Naralthotep. We've, um, we've already gotten her from the starter deck uh, yesterday, but we actually have a uh, GOG set instead of a DSD set, which for purists out there is a lot better. Actually, you know what? I think Yeah, you know, we're just we're gonna quickly sh scene shift over. Oh no. What is this image properties? Oh that's that image. Uh, cancel, cancel. Oh, this is just bugging me. I, I, I'll have to figure out how to re add the, the alerts because I totally, um, had to reset up OBS a, while a little while ago um 
actually after the factory reset of my computer, but um, so I, I forgot to add the um, alert. I have a nice info little thing that's supposed to pop up that says a uh, person's name. It's got all fancy stuff. If you've seen my stream before and actually seen someone follow, you should know what it looks like, but I totally forgot to um, get that actually reset up, but it still looks like my um, text is um, updating that, is, which is very good. So nothing good so far. Outside of the ruler, the ruler is pretty nice, and uh, Brunhild is also very nice from what I remember from yesterday. Loki enters the game of gods, which we... I thought we had another set, or another copy of. Um, Full Shiny, Arena Expansion, Ienosuke no Miyako, which is... The... Uh, Kaguya Rulers expansion, which is always nice. And unfortunately, I apologize for any mispronunciation of any language whatsoever. I'm not going to even try to uh, try to say that um, I can confidently speak English, even though it is the uh, my native language. Pull out the commons. What is that? Oh, curse. Okay. Perfect. Dark moon or dark sun. This one we actually have not seen. Um, it is a one cost darkness uh, quick cast, so you can play it on opponent's turns. Uh, enter your opponent banishes a non magic stone, non J ruler entity. If you are a, uh, if your ruler has a force resonance faith. And these your opponent controls lose all races, so that's really good because then you, um, there are some formats that actually still use cards that dictate like um, all humans gain plus two plus two, uh, all humans gain um, uh, pierce or swiftness. Um, I know there is back in the day when I was physically playing this game the there is a elf uh card that uh gain gives all other elves plus four plus four so um if it were to if everybody loses their their race uh race condition then then they lose those bonuses um however if you are a force resonance trickery your opponent cannot pay any cost that includes Uh, your opponent cannot pay pay any cost that include a banishing entity. So, um, we have seen a few cards that say banish, um, or remove or remove from game, uh, stones, magic stones instead of paying its cost. I believe that is what it's trying to say is that you actually just prevent your opponent from doing that. Fortunately, I ran out of. Space We've got a shiny light mage of Maat. We'll put the uh, uh, dark sun way out of the way. Eh. We got we got some some really really good art. I like these the card uh the art style in in this card game. Um, it, it's got a lot of uh inspiration um lately, especially with uh, a lot of no uh, Nordic scenes. Um, they've done fairy tales, fairies. Um, in fact, um, one of the main there was a ruler um back in the early part of the days that used a like specific uh, counter system that um, used the tree of uh, the tree of the universe or tree of the world Yggdrasil as a main component um, unfortunately I don't remember any of the 
I don't I don't remember any of the like actual like card effects. Okay. Um let's see. Hewn immune. Mune in. I I don't know. I I'm I'm not gonna be these are Odin's ravens. Let's see here. So we got three of him, and then let's see, Magic Stone Dance of Chaos, which I'm her I hear pairs well with Isis. Uh, heat of Sand, um, because Magic Stone of Chaos, they come in tap, so you can't actually tap them for resources. However, if you have a, um, if you have Isis on the field, she is able to actually give them. Uh, actually, you're able; they're still able able to produce the will that you need as they come out, which is always nice. Curse and Valkyrie. We already have a full play set of Brand Grid um, from the starter deck. And then a full Wind Moon. So we'll put that in its own little side pile. Quickly go through. Get as much of these figured out because right now we're just looking for rares, supers, marvels, and then the rulers. So hopefully I can at least get um one one copy of Kagia. The blind ninja of silence, hell beast. Odin enters the game. Which I don't think we got. A full playset of, but I might be wrong. Nope, it's right here, right off to the, right off to the side, immediate side, and war it shall be, which is another hollow. It's fine. I'll uh, I'll replace playsets with hollows. There we go, our first Marvel rare of 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 this rotation, Mistellan Dark Sword Saint. Um, so I'll just uh, it's villain's card, so can't be played with any of the uh, tails keywords, and it has pierce. So um, if your attack is more than the toughness or defense of the opposing card, um, any of that extra that difference that is made is then removed from the life points. Uh, non will activate abilities of other J resonator or J slash resonators cannot be played, um, and then it is a revolution card. So it's kind of your big, kind of more of your boss monster. Um, prevent all damage that would be dealt to this card, which is amazing. At the end of your turn, recover this card, so you're able to um, attack and defend. So it's like a, a vigilance. Discard a card. Put X. Uh, Plus one, plus one counters on this card, where X is the total cost of the discarded card. Draw a card, play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. So that's really amazing. So that's always fun. And then the last one is a shiny Dark Mage of Ma'at. Eh, you know, I don't care. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just take these out quickly. Fortunately, I don't know how many actually went through already. One, two, three. Eh, whatever. We can get literally anything and everything as we go forward. that under let's see here red flame dark mage ambushing scorpion underground giant odin's bloom um call of darkness 
Another Marvel Rare. Second Marvel Feasting. Um, and then a shiny uh, Cthulhu's Intimidation. Quickly go through, remove tokens. Let's see here. Perfect. So this is Wind Knight Amant. He's also actually a pretty decent one. Um, quick cast, so you can play him on your opponent's turn. Enter, put up uh, up to one wind chant from your graveyard into your hand. So one wind spell. Um, enter, recover up to two target magic zones you control. So literally, you're, he only his effective cost is only one. And then a full rare, super rare. Full hollow of um, Schmel, who I have been told is actually really, really good. And I have Schmel right there. Hmm. All right, get through the commons. Our Rare, super rare is Loki Strategy, uh, which is a quick cast. Choose one. Put target Resonator Edition on the bottom of its owner's deck. Draw a card. Recover up to three target magic stones you control. And then if you are running a reson uh, Force Resonance Trickery, if you control a Resonator with Tails and a Resonator with Villains, you may choose three instead. Um, I've been told there's a card that you're able to uh one of the i think it's the water marvel rare that lets you be able to play tails and villains in the uh same um same deck in in normal circumstances you cannot and then a holographic uh falling from fate Oh, here we go. This is a new one. Teachings of the Moon. It is a uh, light, water, and wind cost of card. Quick cast. Choose one. Destroy all J slash resonators that attack this turn. Draw two cards. Then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. Put two moon, wind moon edition tokens into the field. Uh, if you have a force resonance moon, you may banish a moon edition rather than pay this card cards cost so you're able to um if you have a token generation for wind or uh for uh, the wind wind moons um you essentially net one and then are able to do its additional cost and then a full hollow loki's curse Go Rabbit Ninja. This one is just uh, an interesting card, that's to say the least. It uh, is still a Tails. Um, it uses the same old Rabbit uh, format that I'm used to back from when I played physical. Um, is that um, if it when it attacks, it gains flying until end of turn. However, it uh, does stuff with a lot, a lot of moon, like yeah, if you have a. Uh, Rest to recover mood you control. This card gains flying instead, or swiftness and, uh, until end of turn. Um, and then you can rest two recovered moons you control to recover this card, so you're able to like keep going. Uh, and then if you revolution it or order it, you can draw two cards, put two wind moon edition tokens into the field. So that's always really good. And then the next card is Kaguya's. Kaguya enters the game of gods, so we're able to... It's nice to see this this holographic, but unfortunately we also have the 
the uh, full set of the promos already. All right. Maybe try. I actually like this card, so I think I might be doing a uh, wind wind light deck with um with Odin at some point. So hopefully I can make something out of that. Gloom, uh, Moon Rabbits, Tails are also kind of interesting to say the least um, with the plus four, plus four for Tails uh, uh, cards, but um, the Tails deck that I want to play is a uh, Neuralthotep deck, and she doesn't really do too much. She she doesn't benefit for from splashing green into, into her deck. Um, she's definitely a light and uh, fire or a darkness and fire uh, ruler. Our next one, so this is a rare of Asgard expansion, or arena expansion Asgard, so uh, Odin's expansion card. And then Paolo Loki enters the Game of Gods, which I believe is a full playset now, if I can figure out. Where that ran off to. Here we go. One. Nope, it is not. It is a three. It is three. It is three. Oops. Wrong buttons. Oh. All right, explosive withdrawal. Always a fun one to see right away. We got Winds of Asgard, which is a one cost quick cast. You and it, you and entities you control gain barrier until end of turn. And then if you have a force resonance of faith, you may play this card without paying its cost. So that's always um kind of a I wouldn't say good card I mean it's actually probably it's pretty pretty good card it's a good response and then a full art um Kotaro Ninja of Silence second one All right, let's get through these real quick. Ooh, what are you? You are Formal Snake of Knowledge. So he's a super rare, uh, one cost, villains, and eternal. Uh, pay one, target J Resonator, and the card loses all abilities until end of turn. Revolution, um, draw three cards. So that's... That's actually pretty good. I like that. That's a, and you get the uh, biblical reference of uh, an apple. Um, you know, Garden of Eden, uh, type stuff. So, um, that's another thing I like about about the art is that it it you you get the sim symbolism in it. Um, and it all tells a story, which is always always nice. And then our. Ooh, Full art red flame. I can I can dig that. Put that over. Boop. Alrighty, go through these. I have most of these perfect. This one here is actually one that I want to get um, a full playset for sure. It is the Arena Expansion Relay. Uh, it is eternal, so it cannot be removed. Uh, enter the field. Shuffle any number of magic stones from your graveyard and or your removed area into your magic stone deck. Draw a card. Um, Force Resonation Chaos. You may banish a magic stone then uh, rather than playing this card's cost. So this you can get this basically out for free. Um, 
there are some other cards in this uh, set that does the same thing where you can remove a card instead, and this just basically lets you get all those resources back, which is always nice. And then a full hollow of Moon Rabbit Spectators. Let's see here, this is uh, Phantasmal Scarlet. Uh, this one you target J Resonator, it loses all abilities in, until end of turn, then destroy it. Chaos, it makes it a quick cash and you can make Banis a Darkness Magic Zone rather than play this card's cost. And then a Holographic uh, Flaming Salamander. Salamander over there. Where is... Oh, I know I didn't get a place out of this. There it is. Slight gun mirror. This is a super rare, so this is uh where did I toss this guy? Ah, here we go. And then flame. Flame soldier of Maat. So as I said before, um like yesterday or last night on um the stream that uh, Ma'at used to be more of a just like an idea or concept um, in, instead of like a uh, or like a more of a universal thing than um, an actual entity um, that actually is doing anything um, in the universe uh, and lore but um, as time has expanded um, it kind of looks like there are more instances of of Ma'at actually being a influencing factor because we have so many cards actually dedicated to to him now. Um, when back when back when I first got into into it, uh, there was like five, seven cards over like ten sets or uh, ten packs. Maybe 12. I don't know. But I can guarantee you there was not a lot. Uh oh. Did I put this in? Uh, okay, I gotta go fix that here real quick. Uh... Hego, Giant of the Dark Sun. This one was actually a really um, kind of a cool uh, pull yesterday and reading it out. Um, it's a villain. It has drain, so that life link um, equivalency. Uh, enter, choose one, or enter, you choose Resonator Chant. Your opponent cannot play cards of the chosen type as long as this card is in the field. So, um you really really control what they can and can't play so that's that's kind of actually really gross Ooh, um this is a marvel rare this was the first marvel rare, rare we pulled and now it is our technically our third but is our second full art holographic marvel rare this one i actually want a full play set of if i can because it's just, um, last time we, yeah, yesterday when we read it, it was, I, I liked it. I thought it sounded super good. Um, just to the, the fact that, uh, whenever damage is dealt to your opponent, this card gains two plus two plus two until end of turn. 
Um, if you uh, pay a red, it destroy target damage J slash resonator. So um, and then resonance ma uh, firestone. So if you call a firestone and you or call a magic stone and you get a, it's a fire magic stone. This card deals two hundred damage to your opponent and each J resonator your opponent controls. I mean that's pretty good. Um, enter put the top two cards of your magic stone deck into the field rest of the game at the end of turn. Uh, put this card on the bottom of its owner's magic stone deck. So um, definitely want to try to get as much um, yeah, try to get as much of them. We'll want probably a full cop play set of Isis just because it's of her ability of if um, resonance uh, fire magic stone if they come in tapped we produce a produce a mana anyway so full play sets of this this and her <laughs> that's really what we're going for and probably the grim held uh the water marvel but unfortunately we have yet to have yet yet to actually see that crap i forgot i was gonna fix that stack uh holy sword of mistellen and then the Tails Magic Stone. That one's all the way over here. And that's also a second um, full art Magic Stone. So that's always fun. Okay, I got to fix this real quick. Because I... Uh, unfortunately, was putting the uh, wrong, uh, putting stuff on the wrong stack, and now I'm all, all confused. Oh, this is this is that stack. Jeez, let's start all over. <laughs> um, boop, boop, boop. Got a, another Schmel and a sudden manifestation of flame or a power. That was nice. Let's see, Hanzo, Ninja of the Moon, and then a Shiny Fairy. All right, kind of towards the end of the collection process. Unfortunately, we also have a full play set of Barbados, so oops, Barbados, so I don't really need him. And nice full art. That super is always good to see. Is he considered a giant or a beast? It's considered a snake. Apparently, they have snake as a resonator type, which is fine. I I, I enjoy that. Although it just makes a uh, synergy of um, lo a lot of Loki stuff being able to search for giants a little harder uh, to pull off. Um, let's see. Tails Magic Stone. That is our fourth 
part of that. So that is now a full playset and Gale of the Moon. So now, because we have a full playset, we're going to come up on the this here. Uh, let's see, Tails Magic Stone there. And then we're going to fill it in. So now we have a playset. <laughs> Hopefully I can get geez, one more. I only see have seen one ruler so far and only three uh, marbles. Let's see here, a Kataro, so that is our third, our fourth Kataro, and Loki's Deception, which I believe I don't see, but I'm going to hold it off to the side real quick. Kataro is card number 53. Kataro Silence, and then Loki's Deception is card number 39. Oh, so we should have it somewhere. Just going to fill that spot there until I can spot it. have it marked off and I know I I know I've seen it so hopefully it's hopefully it'll pop up sooner than later might have got buried by accident interesting Alrighty. Here's our. Oops. That's that. There's our another super rare. Or Marvel rare. And then our underground giant is our holographic. Alrighty. Let's see, what is this guy again? This is Rebirth of Flaming Disaster. Quick cast. Destroy target Jade Rune you control. Put a 4 4 Fire Cthulhu Resonator token with swiftness into the field. Force Resonance Chaos. Put X 4 4 Fire Cthulhu Resonator tokens with swiftness onto the field where X is not our magic stones you control. And then a uh, full hollow Barbados. So I think. Um, Cthulhu's were pretty huge when I first, uh, or like when it first came out. Um, I don't know if it still is, um, in like the like last set, um, or like the last two sets. But um, it kind of feels like Cthulhu's have become more counter based. Like you, um, that creature type itself, you would summon as a counter instead of it being like a flat um like card that you can get and play let's see here that's another kagia card and then a night moon which i did we get looks like we did two three there okay there we go So they all go to the bottom. And our last chunk of packs for this set rotation. Got another Isis, which is great. And a full art holographic. Weird lines on it. Um, Spirit of Ma'at, which is nice
more. We need more. Unfortunately, only one ruler looks like in this box. Hey, nice. So this is the magic, uh, the villains, uh, the villains magic stone, which is a uh, you can when it's on the field, you can tap it to produce a void will or just a generic will and then produce one will of any attribute spend this only to play resonators with villains so um uh you know so you can start you can splash in other other colors but they need to be villains instead and then hey another full art galileo Let's see here magic stolen guy up there I like him. He uh, so he's a tails, so can't be played in a deck with with villains. Uh, he has flying and he has barrier. Uh, enter when you play him. He draws it. You draw a card. Uh, J Resonators you control gain flying, just a flat flying. Uh, let's see here. Whenever a Resonator you control attacks, recover target Magic Stone you control. And then if you revolution him, moon additions you control become 1,000, 1,000, or 10, uh, 10, 10 resonators. They are still additions. So they'd be resonator additions. He's, I, I, I like him because then you can just do a moon token deck and then go from there. I get through all the commons. We have a Melua uh, Mage of Ma'at. Tails quick cast. When this card is destroyed, it deals damage to its attack to your opponent. And then evolu uh, Revolution entered. Discard your hand. This card deals one or a thousand damage. Multiply the number of cards discarded this way to each J resin uh, J slash resonator. Then draw four cards. So definitely a board clearing. Um, and then our shiny is uh, Brand Grid, which we have full playset of, but not full, not full hollow, not full hollow playset. Would would prefer hollow playsets. Okay, nothing yet. Another. Well, Relay, which is unfortunately not a full playset. And a Winds of Asgard, full art. It looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, I don't know. I understand why that's a rare, but also, too, like, if you play... Literally, if you play your uh, a Light Ruler, um, which is... If you're just starting out, it's going to be Odin, which means that you're going to have a Faith Resonance uh, card. That's going to cost that, that you're not going to pay anything. And then, granted, Barrier is just kind of a, a whatever, you know, like Barrier, you can't target them. Uh, they can still be destroyed, but you can't target them. Here we go, Galilei and. Loki strategy. So, that is a full play set of both. And this is a card 80. Put that on my stack. On in with Galileo. Who is number forty nine? Forty nine. So used to like uh, Magic Gathering Yu Gi Oh, where the um, more like I wouldn't say broken, but definitely like the cards that have like massive effects would. Um, wouldn't be just relegated to rare they'd be more like the super or ultra rares 
Um, so, you know, something that's a lot harder to get multiple copies of. Unless if you dump a bunch of money in the game. Got Fen Fenrir, which is really nice. And then uh, Utgard expansion, which is a, which is Loki's expansion. Fenrir. And Utgard, Utgard. I believe that is number three. Guards number three, but second full art expand. Uh, full art always love full arts, they look all nice and shiny. Okay, I almost spoiled this, so we're gonna do this a little bit differently. We're gonna go very slowly just so that I can kind of build up hype because I saw a split. Uh, or a, a double back card, so hopefully it's the one I want. All right, so Arena Expansion Utgard, so we can um, mark that one off. Utgard. Okay, moment of truth. Yes, perfect. Utgard, hold on. Okay, bookkeeping first. Utgard. Okay, I knew, I knew. Eventually, eventually, I'd get one because I have um two other two other boxes. But um, this is actually one I was hoping hoping to get. I'd be absolutely devastated if I didn't get it because um it it it's it's the last last ruler. I have all the rulers now. Uh, this is Caillou God of Cats and the Moon. Uh, she's a Tails, so she can only be played with Tails. Uh, you cannot have the uh, cards with villains in your deck or Magic Stone deck. Revolution, uh, once per turn. Uh, let's see, Force Command Moon. Apply all Force Resonance Moon abilities to cards you control in all zones. I'm just gonna just, I mean, kind of look at that. That's that's some nice art, but then the other side is just. Ooh, perfect. I love it. Um, let's see here. So if you ordered cards, become J rulers. Um, let's see here. Force command moon. Enter, put a wind moon edition token into the field. The ordered card gains plus X plus X and flying where X is the number of additions you control. You may call a magic stone. So, you, you know, you can still tap it to be called. Nice. I'm going to put that over there. See here, Utgard got situated. All right, we'll put teachings of the moon there. Just try to shimmy as much of it over as possible. Just gotta keep the amount of time on, or an eye on the time, because at some point we will need to uh, swap over to play um, Demon X Machina with uh, Spud and Malatak. Just unload these boxes real quick. There should be 12. One, two. So now I don't care if I, I spoil the uh um the the rulers. Holy sword and then a full art Galileo. So we'll put that in the, the full art deck. I think I think it'd just be easier if I go down stacks, because I don't I don't think these are really ordered in any way to um, get. So that card we had all. Uh, oh, whoops, I almost forgot to. There we go. Um, Let's see. 
another whoop speed sing and a spirit or a warrior. Unfortunately, that's three. I hope. Hope I get the blue marvel rare. But if I don't, then I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to kind of deal with that, huh? See here, that's a third, and then another Tales of Magic stone. Rip them apart. Okay, so we can get rid of the commons. Fafnir, that is our third Fafnir, and we already have Barbados. You know, to be honest, I wouldn't mind more um, the the moon tokens because I didn't get a ton of them last time. In fact, I didn't actually get a lot of tokens, to be 100% honest. Uh, let's see here. Is it, who is he? Two, two or three? He is two. He is, so now he's three and light mage of Mahat. I know this is mostly going to be repeats now because we're coming at the end of the set. So holographic, boot guard, and then now we have a full playset of Winds of Asgard. And I'll go up here to Wind of Asgard. Fill in. Okay, so I don't know what happened, but uh, I think they may have screwed up my pack, and I got a super rare instead of a common. So, I think this is what's probably called a god pack, or someone really screwed up, but we have full art Brunhild. Full Art Phantismal Scarlet, Dogma Ma, uh, Dogra Magra, Full Art uh, Schmel, Full Art Enter the Go a Game of Gods, Full Art Fishting, Full Art Ma'at, Full Art uh, Red Riding Hood, and a Full Art uh, Millicent Dark Sword, and then a Full, full Art Graham Held. Who's the last Marvel rare? Remove this card in your graveyard from the game. Produce a water. Spend this only to play cards named Gremheld. Revolution. As this card enters the field, you may reveal a resonator with tails you own from outside the game and remove it from the game. If you do, this card enters the field as a copy of the card removed this way. Wow. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. I've only ever heard of these. I've never in all of uh, my days of playing have I uh, ever actually pulled a a god pack or a uh, super pack or um, every 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 type of name. I'm actually going to I'm going to take a quick picture of this and then gloat. Not really gloat gloat, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh celebrate with people who can't who can't be on the stream. Uh excuse me one moment. I know it's super professional. Super professional. Is <laughs> oh, 
Oh, all right. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so now I got all my Marvel, uh, uh, all, all copies of the Marvel Rare. Issue is, kind of need four of him, but uh, I believe this actually. Um, I don't think this. Uh, we get a full art to send off the uh scar uh, the phantasmal scarlet. Uh, who is card number 65. I can read. Oh, that is so cool. Schmel and Schmel is a, that's a full play set of Schmel. We'll play set of Schmel. Schmel, Schmel, Schmel. Schmel. Schmel, the giant of distrust. Uh, Odin enters the game of gods, which is another full play set there. Which is, uh, he's uh, set number nine. Way, way to round out my uh, set. And that's a full set of a mythic, a Fee Sing. Fee Sing, who is a absolute beast of a card. Unfortunately, not a full play set of Ma'at. Unfortunately, not a full play set of uh, the Red Riding Hood, but we're 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 right there. Uh, I don't think it's a full play set of uh, Mistellan, and then we have a full. I don't think it's a full play set of Grunheld. Some of these other cards that are kind of off my mat a little closer. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad if I got another one of those. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, let's see here. Gunmir. So I don't think that's a full play set of Gunmir and a full... All right, so how, how I normally do this, I open this up because it actually is ordered um, correctly from uh, commons to rares. So all I do is I normally just take the back two, which is our tokens, uh, like life tokens, magic cards. But unfortunately, our holographics are also our, um, up where our rulers will show up. So, I mean, unfortunately, that kind of ruins it, but... I don't care anymore because I, I got all the rulers now i have a second second copy of her so i can have a, a play copy and a copy that sits in my collection <laughs> where i'm not doing too much with it and this means war which i don't think unfortunately is a full play set of that yet SR instead of a common. Ooh. I'm all, I'm all giddy. I was I was kinda like falling asleep because there's not not a lot 
left in these packs. Dark. Um, but I'm, I'm awake now. Jeez. That, that was cool. I love that. Uh, actually, if I could probably get one more of those just to kind of round everything out, that'd be superb. Galileo and Phantasmal. Well, Galileo, we already have. Phantasmal. I apologize. I know. I know. Uh, with like, di like digital and physical pack openings, like if you get a rare card, you're supposed to pop off. But like, it takes me a moment to process on what's going on. And unfortunately, by that time, it's just like my energy level does not pop pop off how it should pop off. But you know that's fine. Uh, put holographics on the side. Ooh, it's a full playset of uh, Yugen and Moonin. Uh, unfortunately, I don't remember what card number he is. 77. Oh, we have a whole playset. Bam. Filling out the list. enters unfortunately we have all that so we'll probably just end up getting oh fuck well it all spilled out on my lap so I don't know what order any of these are in don't worry it'll be a surprise giant there's our token card Uh, Loki's Deception, Full Art, Revival, that's a super rare, maybe I didn't get any, um, maybe, maybe I misclicked and thought I was clicking to something else, but I could have swore I got a Loki's Deception before. Vader's we already have, and ooh, Teachings of the Moon, perfect. Full art. Jeez, just, yeah, just screw it. <laughs> Odin's Gloom and Magic Stone. Ooh. That. And ride that high. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh ooh, full play set of of Maat. World of Duels and Ascendants. So ninety or eighty six. Level rare. Actually, so what does he do? Let's see, mythic. You when you control two or more entities with mythic that share a name, banish all but one of them. Uh, so there can, oh, you can only have one of these on on the field. Uh, enter, draw a card. Players pay two more to play judgment abilities. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to J resonators with tails or J resonators with villains by J resonators with neither tails nor villains. And then explosive withdrawal. Oop. 
Netflix and Moon Watching. We already have both copies of. That is our fourth copy of the Yenosuke. Which is uh, card number 69. Nice. <laughs> 69, 69. That bad boy in. Hey, be careful. Don't want to toss stuff uh, right out, right outside. Nice. So we have all those already. We have a full her the full play set of Ryle now. Is seventy. It's always nice. Toss those off to the side. Let's see, keep the faith we already have. Now we have our third dogma uh, magra, which is super rare. Let's see, Odin as our shiny. Kind of bums me out a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, cause back in, back in the old days, Marvel rares used to, um, be accompanied solely by rulers. Rulers used to, you know, still, they were still, um, rare, considered rares, but however, they were, they were called rule, kind of ruler rares. So they were a subcategory rares and there was like only ever three or four in a box, uh, when you played physically. So there is that aspect of it that um, you just got to deal with now. So we got full uh, Malua. Um, who is a fire resonator. Malua, Malua. Malua, here we go. Mistel and Dark Moon. So we have a full play set of Mistel now. Uh, I'm starting to think that uh, Grim Held. Um, I'm sounds like I'm not the only one who had issues getting a full play set of him. Well, there is hope. Always hope. Got a few more rares left to get. A few more super rares left to get. Isis, perfect. And then a full art uh, Kara. If Isis could get one more copy of her, that'd be great. And then one more copy of... Magic stone there, which is actually it says magic stone, but it's actually a a, a chant, a spell. The Loki enters game of gods, which is our full playset of it, and then Moon Rabbit, which is not our full playset of that. Um, 
Whose call here is aware. Okay. What is this? Oh. <laughs> Goes into another sack, uh, stack of sets that uh, will be eventually um, gone through and uh, sorted out and sent off to places unknown. All right, that is our that is a full playset of the Magic Stone Dance of Chaos, which is a twenty four. So we are too far up. Twenty four. I like that. Righty. Perfect. So that should fill off the playset of Rabbit and the full playset of of uh Gungnir. Gungnir. There we go. We should do Rabbit first. Rabbit Ninja. And then Gun Near. There we go. See, that should be a full playset of Asgard. And unfortunately, we have a full playset of him. Oh, that is not a full playset of Asgard. Oh, let's see. However, that is a full playset of uh, Broomhild. Broomhild. See here, I'm missing two and two, so I'm almost done with the light portion. Magic Stone. Three, perfect. Hmm. Serpent, love it. I would love a full play set of him, although I don't. See where he, ah, there it is. That's three, and then Prey Valkyrie. Uh, Katara we already have, and we already have this guy. Although, I wouldn't mind getting full shinies of him. We need Moon, Hanzo, Hanzo, Ninja of the Moon. That's who we need from that set portion. Runehead we have, and Dark Beast. Uh, 
All right. Unfortunately, it's not a, oh, it is. Oh, it is, it is, it is a full, full art holographic shiny Marvel rare. Um, that's awesome. Um, that is super awesome. So we can go up to the Marvel of Little Red Riding Hood or Red Riding Hood Crimson Wolf and fill that sucker in because I just need one more Isis and I got everything that I got. I need to start uh, building that um, that Nar Naraltotep deck that I wanted to do. Of course, I got to make sure that there's enough stuff in this pack alone for me to even do anything with it. And Ooh, okay, final stretch. Hey, Laka Kita, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Um, we are. There we go, boys and gals and people of other identities. <laughs> really roundabout way to say it, but we got the full playset of Isis so that we are able to actually make a competent Naraltotep deck. And then top everything off with a holographic uh, uh, a sudden power, a sudden manifestation of power. Isis is heat. Isis, heat of the sand. Get that bad boy marked up. We don't got a ton left. We got um, really the biggest issue that we're going to run into is um, somehow getting three Marvel rares of Grimheld. He's the only, only one left that... Uh, of the Marvel rares that we need to get to um, round out all that, all that out. Although I'm gonna have to ask around the uh, Reddit community and see, because I guess I guess I just don't understand what what the synergistic combination of uh, adding tails creatures into a villain stack and vice versa because that's really the only reason why you'd play that card um so i don't know well i'll have to i'll have to see so i believe because i'm just gonna oh i believe these are what's left once we get uh play sets of these we will have play sets of the the full set granted i don't i will not be able to get full play sets of grim held unfortunately it sounds like because uh like like i said mentioned before he is uh, other other people have had issues grabbing him from this set in the gods do we have Odin? Odin, Odin enters. We do have, we do, we are done with Odin. Uh, definitely that God pack we, we opened um, a little early, you know, uh, a bit ago, a little while ago, probably about halfway through the stream. Um, Neural Tatep as the ruler, so we'll set that off to the side for the rulers. Uh, definitely did help with getting the 
you know, kind of rounding out that that experience. Uh, boop. Okay. We're in Asgard, and that also full art. This means war is rounds out those play sets for those rares. Let's see here. Asgard is 68. And then this means war is, this means war right here. Um, so I know going through it, you see that, you know, yes, we have a Grimheld um, on, on board, um, but I don't have it marked off on the checklist. I am actually just going through and adding, uh, checking off if we have a playset, and then at the end, um, doing bookkeeping to um, see what, like what we've received, what we haven't received, and then what we need to do to get uh, playsets of of these cards um, in the game for the game. But I don't rookie strategy. I think we're good on that. So. Okay. Yeah, enters. Okay, so this is all stuff we already have, which we're gonna really get into that. Um, oops, did we have a full? Oops, I didn't even notice we had a full set of uh of the uh, Holy Sword of Mistellen. I didn't even notice that. I miscounted on that. That's also why we do bookkeeping at the end, because um, we might have actually everything for a playset. It's just that going through these so fast, you don't pay attention. So this is a Marvel Rare. Have full playset already of her. Um, although I'm sure, um, I'm sure that if I ever, if if I ever meet up anybody playing physical, it'd be. Might be something they may be interested in for a trade. I don't know. Yeah, who, who am I kidding? I'm probably just gonna any extras are probably just gonna go to to Spud because he he definitely looks at playing these these games and wants to get back in, but unfortunately he's unable to. Oops, there goes the stack. Bunny rabbit, we already have. But I'm not gonna say no to Chinese. Uh, okay, we'll go Dogma and Wind Moon. So Wind Moon can go there. Dogma, uh, Dogma Mar Magra, jeez. That is a full playset, yes. Uh, let's see, you're 74. Make sure I keep an eye on the time because I will need to do a combination of uh, go eat food, um, slash get the dog situated and um, them fed and let out before uh, we start our 5.30 stream with Malatak and Spud with playing some Demon X Machina. Um, let's see, that's a full playset of Wind. And then we have a, our Marvel Rare is uh, Melistin, which unfortunately we have, so I'm probably not going to get another Grim Held. Oops, wrong stack. 
let's see here. Wind, 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 wind again. Wind. Wind is, here we go. And not Hanzo. Wind Knight, there we go. Hanzo is super rare, so. So it looks like we're really only missing a handful of cards now. Giant. And then Odin Ender's Game of Gods. I believe that is our fourth giant. Eggle Giant. And then that is our, we have a completed the uh, play set between, uh, for cards one through 16. It took forever. Magic Stone, which I believe that actually cap caps that off. Uh, Hugin and Nugin. Yep, Dark Magic Stone is capped off. Is 88. Oops, too far. Uh, let's be honest. We have full play sets of those. That that's an easy one. That's that's easy peasy. Unfortunately, we have everything on that. Here we go. I might break my chair here soon. There we go. Full play set of. What is his name? Volmo. Volmo, Volmo, Volmo the Snacky. That'll be nice. That's nice. Oh, wait, this is the shiny. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm not going to say no to shiny uh, shiny copies, because then we'll just swap them out. Almost there. Okay, we already have every them. Schmel, I can't. Schmel's fine. Schmel's fine. Oops. Wait a minute. Are you Cthulhu? Okay. Uh, apparently, Cthulhu is actually still a card. Wookie's Deception. I hope I'm I hope I'm wrong because I could have swore I had received at least one Loki's deception. So that that kind of annoys me. Stone so everything we still have Odin's Intimidation. Oh, hey, there we go. Grimheld. Wow, I almost like <laughs> passed that over. Oh, okay. 
Maybe maybe we can maybe we can do this. Bam. Let's pull a place out of that. I hope so. Yes it is. So that is the magic ship. I'll do I'll do with a holographic shrine made in. I'll be fine with that. Let's see here. Last two cards. Uh, at this point we're just looking at filling out uh holographic play sets. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be a that'd be a fun thing to track next time. Next time. Um, so Marble Rare, uh, Maat, World of Duels and Ascendants, which we already have a full playset of, and that's the second time that that's popped up. Um, which means that I doubt, I doubt we're gonna get a a full playset of, uh, Grumheld. Which is fine. We can get them in other ways. Hanzo. I heard Hanzo. I mean, if I only have to get like one or two card singles, that would be would be preferable. We got Odin. Which means that this is unless if the uh Two back cards are so we shouldn't have any rares now, right? Fafnir Fafnir and Rebirth of Flaming This Disaster is really the only two rares that we need left. Nope, already got those. On the back burner. Always on the back burner. Now, normally, uh, playing this physically, I would have... Oh, it's a ninja. Ninja of Silence. Uh, I would have done a instance of, like, oh, I have this card, you know, so many of this card, and I need these ones left um normally obviously when you're physically playing it in a store you would be able to like trade for what you need still because there's always someone who needs something but unfortunately oops finally okay so that is all the rares all the rares now Come on, there we go. What are we? So now that is full play sets of one through um thirty-two. And it, unfortunately, it looks like Gremheld is going to be the one that's going to break our break our streak. Scorpion. I feel like I got a Loki's Deception, but I am pretty on the fence about that. So I may. So we're, we're on the back burner. We've got three, 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 and three. Two and two. But all we're missing is super rares at this point. There we go. Loki's deception is completed.
And if I did have another one, hopefully it ends up into um, the stack that will eventually be going for trade cells or um, yeah, or to spud. One of one of the two, or one of the three. Have the stone, perfect. Oh, what is this? All right, last. We just opened our last, last of three pack. After this, it's two, and then final one. Brunhild and double blind. Oh man, I I was actually hoping for one more, just to finish off these rares and super rares. I don't think I don't think we're gonna get it. There we go. Oh, uh, ye of little faith says I. So let's see what is this? Eighty five. We have. Just throw that in. Yep, all right. Last pack. I am hoping for one of these two. Or both, I mean, you know, hopefully shiny or shiny. Uh, and then that way I don't have to hunt down other cards. Perfect. All right, so we got Fafnir, so we got all of our rares. Whoops. Yeah. Got all of our rares for the set. We got um, all of the commons, all of the rulers. We've got at least... Oh yep, here we go. There we go. There's the Loki deception. It made it. It made its way into the ruler pile. Actually, I had I had two, <laughs> one shiny. Okay, unfortunately, all right. So, what to do? So we got one of him, or at least one of him. We got one of this. And that's it. So I will eventually have to look and see about acquiring singles just to finish off play sets. But um, out of... Uh, unfortunately, out of four packs uh, or four boxes of stuff, I don't think it really. I was hoping to get like everything except maybe like some of the uh, the Marvels, but you know that it is what it is. Um, so I'm gonna pause the stream and get this kind of cleaned up to then. Um, We'll have a uh, pause countdown for yeah about five five. Th we'll, we'll we'll count down to five thirty, and then that way we'll uh, then have um, the stream going. I'll just have it on mute, and then I'll get everything set up for uh, Demon X Machina here in and ready to go at. 
actually in fact i think i'll just end end the stream so then this can easily go on to uh youtube for the archive instead of me having to cut the video uh in uh in a video editing software uh video editing software gee you look tired um yeah who knows we'll see all right thank you everybody i will be back at in a hour and a half